Hey Virgo, it is me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let us see what the good universe has for you, Virgo. Oh, two cards, Queen of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Nine of Wands. Okay, right out the bat, right off the bat, I get that it feels like talk is cheap. Um, you're looking for somebody to make good on your wishes and desires. With the Queen of Cups, it's almost like um, I feel like you're wanting to know how somebody feels about you. Um, this person could have been struggling or struggles to express how they feel. Um, with the Nine of Wands here, Knight of Wands next to the Eight of Wands, kind of feels like, almost like you're starting to become impatient. You would like to see things move along a little quick, quicker, quickly. Um, I feel like because you want confirmation, if this is the person who you were meant to be with, and a person you manifested. It's almost like, it, it. God, is this the person that you have for me? With the strength card in the Queen of Cups, feels like you're trying to hold on, but I feel like mentally, maybe instinctually for some of you guys, something could be questioning or you could start wondering whether to stay or go. Wow, Knight of Wands and Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups, yeah. This is a love that you've manifested. Um, this almost feels like love at first sight. It was almost like an instant connection. You guys connected strongly, uh, passionately. And based on the information that you have right now, this person seems like a good fit. I do kind of feel like there are some lingering wounds here, whether they're with you or your person. And I feel like you guys need to talk it out because I feel like somebody here is struggling with love. Either they're struggling with communicating their feelings or you're struggling again to find out if this person is the one. I also kind of feel like there might be some red flags here but I feel like to an extent the passion is overriding those red flags. I feel like, yeah, a lot of you guys feel like this person is heaven sent or universe sent. And it just kind of feels like they're saying all of the right things. Doing the doing. Um, it feels like they're saying the right things and maybe even showing up. But for some reason, again, it feels like maybe something is missing here. Let's see what your clarifiers have to say. There's another cancer card with the chariot. It's almost like if they just expressed how they felt about you, you feel like you would want to move on, move forward uh, with this person. I feel like a lot of you guys are tired of guessing and wondering. You're just wanting them to kind of be out with it. Do you want me? Are you choosing me or not? This person does have deep wounds or perhaps you have deep wounds, Virgo, which again are pre preventing them pro from pro professing their love for you. There's the cups and I just said that. I feel like you guys feel like you belong together and maybe you feel like you belong together with this person. But again, it's just that one missing element. Mm. high priestess secrets things that are unknown and the unknown I feel like at this point Virgo you could be guessing right well they do the right things they say the right things so that could mean that they love me and maybe want to move forward or they have some significant feelings for me and they move they want to move forward but with this knight of swords and ten of swords it's almost like yeah I'm not going to believe anything until they say it Right. Like, in other words, you're not going to believe their actions. Um, <clears throat> you want them to say it. You want their words and actions 
to match. I also kind of feel instinctually that your person could purposely be holding their feelings back for, from you. And it feels like, again, maybe they're just not ready. Maybe they're still wondering the same about you. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you feel like this, this person is your person. And the Knight of Wands with the Six of Wands, it's almost like the passion is moving you forward, but you want the emotion, emotions to be in tow. You also want the emotions. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're sticking around, um, you know, kind of giving this person a chance to express how they feel about you. This person could be popular too, or maybe you feel like they have a lot of options. Oh, that's what it is. So you want them to choose you. I gotcha. And it could be the other way around, whereas they think you're popular and they're wanting to hear from you, Virgo, that you choose them. <clears throat> you deserve love. There it is. You deserve love. You want to hear that profession of love. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic interest. Wow. You know, with the Knight of Wands here twice, I just heard that you want to know that you guys are headed in the right direction. You want to know that this is going to lead to something that is going to lead to something long term. But that communication with the Two of Wands, the Two of Wands is being at a crossroads. So um, also hearing too, your person could be very vague and evasive when you do start to circle around the conversation about their feelings and their emotions towards you. Ooh, passion. There it is. Allow your heart and soul to sing, to sing with joy. Yeah, I'm hearing. I just want to know if they feel how I feel. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Yeah. And I feel like whether it's you or your person, Virgo, somebody growing up <clears throat> never learned how to communicate their feelings. I'm also hearing family secrets as in maybe they were raised in a family where, you know, they didn't express love towards each other. They weren't verbally supportive and, um, they didn't encourage each other is what I'm hearing. I also feel deep down, you know how this person feels about you. That three of pentacles, it's almost like um, they ch they're checking a bunch of your boxes and you just need that final confirmation. Not the right time. That's your, definitely your person, Virgo. <clears throat> There it is. Communicate clearly. I can't make this stuff up. Not even if I tried. Compromise. Yeah, I feel like, especially with the star card here with the nine of wands and two of cups, your person could just be um, an amazing person, but crappy in relationships. Okay? So it's almost like outside of commitment, outside of emotional expressiveness, it's almost like this is the best friend under the sun. But Virgo, you don't want no best friend. You got enough best friends. You want a lover. And I feel like with the Queen of Cups, someone here is starting to develop feelings and emotions and they're wanting to move this thing forward. But I feel like they're being patient, you know, four little word, patience, right? Um, they're being patient, you know, kind of waiting for this person to confess, profess their love. <clears throat> Angels just said, you don't have to wait around for this person to express themselves, Virgo. You can express yourself to this person as well. That's for those of you, as an example, who already feel love, but you're holding back, waiting for them to come forward. Um, with the Knight of Wands here twice, that's my, my fuck boy card, fuck boy, fuck girl. And it feels like sexually, you guys are incredibly compatible, but you just want that same em emotional compatibility. With the Ten of Pentacles, you manifested this love of a lifetime 
And again, you just want some confirmation from your person or the universe that, okay, yeah, like you're the person I manifested. <clears throat> Success. Because I was curious. I kept pulling the angel answers card because I want to know if they're going to be able to confess their feelings for your profess. Ask for help from others. And no. Oh, don't ask for help from others. Okay. Yeah, be careful about that because with that three of pentacles, all advice is not all advice is not appropriate advice for your particular situation. So be careful about obtaining advice from others about this situation that you already have a gut feeling about. I feel like the strength card here with the chariot is saying, yeah, be patient. Like just continue going with the flow, continue moving forward. And with the success card from the angel answers, I do feel like this person is eventually going to show up emotionally and talk to you about how they feel. Not only that, but with this manipulation card, which is also what the magician represents, they don't want to be manipulated into feeling a particular way or they don't want to be forced. You know what I mean? Angels are also saying too, with the 10 of pentacles, this is a marathon, not a sprint. So your person may want to take their time. They may like how things are going and it's like, yeah, it's a little rough. You know, I'm a little rough around the edges, but work with me, Virgo. All right. Uh, the signs you have here is double cancer with Leo, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer again, double Sagittarius, Gemini and Virgo. And so the signs you have here pronounced are cancers. And then also Gemini, your cousins in the Mercury struggle. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Virgo. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Virgo. Bye.